Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm still a little under the weather, so I apologize for my voice. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Inkwell Press Bound Planner for 2016. If you go to the Inkwell Press website, currently they are sold out of all their planners, but they will be doing a second run in November. As soon as I know the exact date that they'll be back in stock, I'll make sure to put that in the description below. The cover you see here is the watercolor hexagon. There are four different covers available for 2016. There's the wood chevron, the modern mermaid, the multicolor triangle, and the watercolor hexagon that you see here. You can definitely go to their website to see the other covers. The planner is ring bound with a double O wire. The circumference, the circumference, the diameter is approximately one and a quarter inches across. The planner is about an inch thick. From the edge of the wire to this end is eight inches. From the cover itself from here to here is just seven and a half inches and it's nine and three eighths height. It comes with the attached elastic closure, which is great. So you don't lose, can't lose that. If we open it up, this is the front page and you'll notice I have a bunch of sticky notes with all the different points I'd like to make about the planner. So for example, this is 15 inches, which means when open, it's 15 inches across. It comes with a ruler, which is made of new material than last year. It's very pliable. It has three sets of teeth. It measures to six inches, but the ruler itself is eight inches by one and three fourths inches across. Very nice ruler. The paper itself is 140 GSM, or approximately 100 pound, which is the thickest I've ever felt in the planner. And some say it's probably the thickest available in a planner. The pages are nine inches by seven inches. And just to let you know, if you're looking for a punch for this, it is a half inch between centers on the holes. So there's a half inch between the centers on these bindings. There's also the tabs are mylar coated, so they are coated tabs, so they should hold up for the year. So the front page says, get ready 2016, this is your year, and this planner belongs to. By the way, this is the sticker that came on the packaging. I put it in here just for memory keeping. We then go into our important dates section. There are 11 lines per month. We then go into our goals section, and you'll see there's a section for personal, social, financial, there's health, home, and dream big. There are 11 lines per goal, and there's a section for your mission. You then can break down your goals for the year by quarter, and then these topics, you'll see these uh, headers will repeat in the mission boards we'll see later. We have an overview of 2016 and then the quote for the year is life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. And we go right into January and as you can see it is a Sunday starting calendar so it does start on Sunday. Also there's only five rows so that means if there's six weeks in that month it's going to be doubled up like this just to let you know and there are 24 lines of notes so after the month overview we go into January's mission board and there are six goal hexagons and they have the same they match up with the titles of the goals in the beginning. So there's me time, which would be personal. There's be social, which is a social goal. Home, health. There's financial and dream big. There are th three blank hexagons and one that has a quote in it. This is a page of notes and rambling and there will be three notes pages per month and there's 31 lines. This color scheme for January is called Gelato. So I'll just set that to the side 
and they repeat. So there's going to be four different alternating color schemes. And I got this one in the classic. The weeks do start on Monday. So the calendar, monthly calendar starts on Sundays, but the weeks start on Monday. And there's 25 lines per day in the classic. You can also download from, I believe the Inkwell Press Society group can tell you, but this shows you the dif different. There's a flex, a A5 and a classic. And so the, a the flex has a horizontal planning scheme and there's eight lines. You can also use this paper to uh, be able to measure the distance to figure out any stickers or stamps. I did a video, it's in uh, my playlist of stamping this paper, so if you want to see that. There are 35 lines in the classic of notes, and this is what the days, the color scheme would look like. So it repeats throughout the month of January, and then we go into those two pages. So there's one notes page in the front and then two in the back. And this one has 33 lines and this one has 35 lines. And then that takes us into February. Once again, the Sunday start. And this is what February looks like. And this color scheme is called Napoleon. Napoleon or Neapolitan. I think she means Neo. I mean Neapolitan. And then we have the Notes and Ramblings page. So there's gelato. This is Neapolitan. And this is what the weekly spread will look like for Neapolitan. And then once again, it would go into Notes. And then we go into March. This is what March looks like. And this color scheme is Caribbean your notes and ramblings page, and then your weekly layout. Once again, notes, and that would take us into April. And here's what April looks like. The calendars do have the next month at a glance in the corner. And this color scheme is dreamsicle. So April is dreamsicle, and this is what the weekly layout will look like for dreamsicle. Our notes pages, and that takes us into May. Here's what May looks like. Once again, this is the gelato color scheme, notes and ramblings, note pages for May, June. Here's what June looks like. It is in that Neapolitan color scheme. Notes and ramblings. The weekly notes pages. And takes us into July. Here's July. And July's color scheme is Caribbean. And then we'll skip over to August. And August color scheme is Dreamsicle. And then the weekly. And then September, which is Gelato. October. And that's Neapolitan. November. which is Caribbean. And don't forget to order your 2017 planner. December. And the Dreamsicle color scheme, which then takes us into the extras. So the first page in the extras is gift lists. There are 29 spots for entry, and then you can put in your ideas. There's shopping for, ideas, items purchased, and how much you spent. So basically, you would put the person you're shopping for, some ideas, what you actually got them, and then what you spent. There are three spots 
for not all who those who wander are lost. So these are for your travel plans. So we have where to, how many nights, the date, a spot for airline info. So there's leaving, the flight number, and when it departs and arrives, returning flight numbers, departing and arriving, the accommodations, the hotel, the website, the phone, the reservation number, when you check in and out. We have a driving log, the mileage and places to eat. There's five lines for places to eat and attractions. We have a record locator, which would be either for your flight uh, num reservation number, or possibly it does have here that you have the car company, rental company, the reservation number and the phone. And then don't forget to stop your mail or your paper to set up for pet care, to notify your neighbors if you need to, and to set up somebody to water your plants. The movie night, they have a page to write down movies you wanna see or good books you wanna read or movies you have seen and good books you have read. There are 14 lines on each section, so times two, there's 28 spots for books and for movies. And she has a bill tracker on this side, Tanya does. So this is new from last year and it's a monthly bill tracker. So you have for electricity, phone and water, and there's blanks and you can easily cover these with stickers. It goes January through December. You would put in the amount and then the due date. So for example, January 3rd, you would write in third there and then you check here when you've paid. So once again, this is actually, um, if you go to the Inkwell Press website, this is downloadable. So if you have more than just six bills that you want to track in your planner, you can print it out, punch it, just slit the punch it with a regular hole punch and then just cut the holes a little bit and then you can add this to your planner if you need more space. And then this goes into the notes section. These are six millimeter square notes section. Um, there are eight pages of graph notes. And up in the corner you see it says date and subject. So there's eight pages of that. So there's gonna be 44 total of notes pages. So there's three, there's three notes per month and then there's eight graph in the back. We have the overview of the 2017 calendar. We have a double-sided pocket which is thicker than last year. And we also have a accordion pocket in the back. And this is actually set up so it fits exactly uh, the new sewn journals that Inkwell, Inkwell Press is selling. So it fits nicely in there. I will have a video doing an overview of the different accessories for 2016. And that brings us to the back. And that's the Inkwell Press Planner for 2016. I love how it lays nice and flat when you uh, open it. I also did want to point out, sorry about my chair, it's so squeaky. Um, this is an A4 cover pouch from Daiso that I got. I got. So A4, and just to let you know, just to show you. So if I slide it in, either side, even if I put it rings first, I cannot close it but it does hold the whole uh, planner in there nicely. So this is an A4 size. Once again, the planners are currently sold out, but she will be doing another run in November. Tanya, the owner of Inkwell Press. If you have any questions about the planner that I have not answered in this video, please put them in the comments below. You can also look at my Instagram account for more pictures of the Inkwell Press Planner and then also see how I utilize it throughout the year. I appreciate you watching and I thank you and hope you have a great day.